Ionic bonding. So formation of ionic compounds. When an ion is an atom or group of atoms possessing a net electric charge. Remember, you have cations, which are positive, and usually a metal, and you have anions, which are negative, usually a nonmetal. Opposite charges attract. Their, can they, their oxidation numbers will cancel, and you form a neutral compound. And that happens when you have the transfer of electrons from a metal to a nonmetal. Ionic compounds are unique in that they form three-dimensional arrays of oppositely charged ions. They have very high melting points because the bonds are strong. So in these particular intermolecular attractions, the, the bonds between the ions is stronger than the bonds between nonmetals of covalent compounds. So of all the intermolecular attractions and interactions, ionic compounds have the strongest bonds. So if we look at, for example, sodium chloride as a solid, it's a crystalline structure um, and the atoms are held in fixed positions and cannot conduct electricity. However, if we were to melt sodium and chlorine and we would have free flowing ions, those free flowing ions create an electric current. And when you dissolve ionic compounds in water, we can also create an electric current because you have freely moving charged particles. So the properties of ionic compounds is that they have very high melting points. They don't conduct electricity as a solid, but can conduct electricity when melted or dissolved in liquids. And that's what's unique about ionic compounds.